All right, so I am running a tad bit behind with these reviews. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Sneaker Circle. It is your boy Danny back with probably my last pickup of the year. Um, we'll, we'll see how Art Basel treats me or if anything cool drops. But yeah, realistically, I think this is the last sneaker purchase of the year for me, at least retail purchase of the year for me. In front of us today, we do have the last collaboration or the latest collaboration is a better way to say it between the company Amal Manier and Air Jordan. And in today's episode, we're going to kind of go over both of them. So on one side right here, we do have the Dawn pair. And on the other side, we do have the Dusk pair. Super cool. I got these for retail off of the EQL release and i mean i've had these for a couple weeks now so i've had dusks for a couple weeks and these actually just came in this week initially i was going to do a standby review on these alone and then just do these when they came in but your boy got sick your boy had the holidays your boy was just busy so i mean let's just get straight into it let's do both in one video let's go all right so in front of us we have both colorways Super nice. Now I did mention I've had these for a couple weeks, so I have been experimenting with laces on these. I'm really liking the way these yellow or cream, whatever you want to call them, laces go on the white pair. But for reference, this is what they look like with the standard stock laces. It's more of that like gray. It's it matches the new book and the upper insanely well. And I gotta admit, out of both of them in front of my face, the black pair objectively is the better color. But I like the execution of the white pair just a little bit better. Now let's get straight into it. Let's do that in reviews. I can show you the differences. Reasons I have two of these. I won two raffles for the Dawn pair and managed to get my boy a pair. So I still have his pair on, on deck and I wanted to show you what that original lace option looked like. So um, let's start out with the boxes. So looking at the red box first, um, I'm just gonna show one box cause they're completely the same. This one just get like a bit beat up in shipping. There weren't two, like, you know, there wasn't a box in a sleeve like most Amamanier releases. And that crease is honestly super gross. Like, it's it's bad. It's like someone took their rage out. But I don't know if I can show it on camera, but uh, you can kind of see the A's that are there. Super cool, super, super dope. Um, this is a US 10 and a half. Let's see if I can show on camera. Uh, these are, so this is normal men's sizing. And then the white pair is women's, so it's a bit confusing. Size-wise, um, I don't think they fit any different. I just tried these on today, that's why I have like these extra laces on. Sizing is completely the same. Not as bulky as traditional Air Jordan 5s in terms of the collar, which was my whole like, the whole reason I really wanted these. But I do feel like Jordan Brand or maybe Amal Manier directly could have, you know, influenced the shape of the shoe just a little bit better. It's a little, it's a little bulky on the toe and uh, let's, let's get straight into it. So starting off with the Dawn pair. When you look at the Dawn pair, it's seemingly it's, it's a leather, right? I initially thought it was gonna be a leather. I thought, you know, it's just gonna be cream or off-white or whatever it is, but it's more of a cooler gray and it is a new book. It smells like genuine leather. I will give them that. They did a fantastic job. I think these are a little bit better than the black pair. The black pair, the black pair is more of that traditional new buck. It's still soft, it's still brushable, but I could definitely see the black pair getting like ruined. But for some reason, this pair on the white pair gives that impression that it's like a lot closer to leather itself. So it's like a really soft leather. And it's funny because Air Jordan 5s, 4s, and I don't think 3s, so 4s and 5s and 6s primarily, and 7s, were really famous for Durabuck, something, something that Jordan brand really used back in like the first years that they were retroing these models. It didn't last very long, like they didn't stand the, te the test of time, but for like, performance they were better so cool thing that Amal Manier did on this release is they shortened the tongue and they took out some of the padding on the sides so somewhere in my collection I do have a pair of 1999 uh, Fire Red 5s they are insanely bulky right here you get a lot of cushion I think traditional Air Jordan 5s are like that and the tongue is like a lot longer Amal Manier having the decision to kind of shorten the tongue gives the shoe kind of a different silhouette. My only gripe is that this toe box is still just pretty rounded out. And like, it, it to me, it just feels 
unnecessarily bulky, you know? I do feel like if they're gonna go out and change the dimensions and the look of the model, they could have at least started with the toe box. Even if it meant like having to size up half because it's a little more narrow because it has like a sharper look to it, that would have been phenomenal. They also changed the way the netting is, so it's repeating A's kind of like the box that I showed you earlier. Same for the inside pattern right here. It's harder to see on here. I don't think I can actually get a good picture of that. You do have like this marina blue on the side, on the 23, on the shark teeth, and on the Nike Air. Nike Air is really like embossed in. And then one cool thing that I'm gonna give them is the actual inside of the shoe. If I can show it, you can kind of see that Nike Air and that swoosh. It's stitched in as well. So that's like one of those little tiny changes that they made which is fantastic. Like I mentioned, they did shorten the tongue, um, but they also added the, this kind of like lace hole or loop right here. I, take, I did take the lace holder off of the fives. I traditionally don't like wearing them that way. I do have them still on my boys pair. So you get Nike, it's kind of aged. So it has that like yellow green tint to it. Not my favorite detail. I'd rather have that, you know, off of the shoe completely. All right, moving away from these and going straight into the Dusk pair. I went ahead and I threw the same color laces on these. You did see a picture of LeBron out there with these and they just look amazing at the time, but I do think it was probably the size he was wearing. So same details, black new book. This new book is a lot closer to suede. So as I would say this is soft, but closer to leather, this new book is closer to suede. Like you could definitely tell it's a little more brushable while this one isn't as brushable. It's a little rougher, but it still has a really nice plush feel to it. This is just soft. This is just soft. And I have been seeing a lot of people saying that these are that these are kind of cheeks in person because they're afraid that this new buck is gonna ash in over time. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a possibility. You do have an all black Nike Air right there. It feels like a missed opportunity to kind of make it maroon. Kind of like the shark teeth right here. 23 is black on black, so it's really hard to tell right there. I feel like they might have been able to outline that. That would have been a a nice little detail. And then you kind of have like these pleather details right here, nothing crazy. Burgundy or maroon, whatever you want to call it, on the inside as well. And then black here. So this has the repeating A, this has the repeating A, this has the repeating A. On the bottom of the right on both of them, you do have this A. On the left one, you have the traditional Jumpman. And it's like that with both. So boom, this is the left pair, this is the right pair, Jumpman and A. This is both left pairs and you get both Ace. I feel like I'm rushing this a little because, and it's just two. Um, only difference between this pair and this pair is they actually have right here, Amal Manier kind of typed out in the air bubble. That's a little weird. I think it's a cool detail, but I do think it's a little weird. You could have done that with these easily, but this is a pair that's supposed to be exclusive to Amal Manier while we are seeing this pair or saw this pair release in other boutiques and other retailers. Let's take the sole. Let's take that out. Um, looking at the sole, better view of what was on these as well. So instead of having a printed on Nike Air, it is like embossed on, purely stitched on. I really do like that detail. I'm a big fan of that little detail because those Jumpmans do not last. Those Nike Airs, they do not last. Moving forward, if every single pair of Air Jordan 1s can have that, your boy will be a fan. Your boy will be a fan. All right, so looking at the laces they come with for the black pair, you do have all black this cream yellow pair, and then an additional white pair. Let me put those right there, put this right here. For the white pair, you do have that gray that kind of come with it. I can kind of show you on here. Um, it comes with the gray that comes with it. It has the yellow pair that I have on my pair right now, and then an additional white pair. So you can kind of see how that white versus that like cool gray looks. I'll try to see if I can calibrate it right in the camera. Last little detail we could talk about is the tongue. Besides shortening them, you also have the Michael Jordan signature right here. And then on the other one, you have Amal Manier. That's the same case on both. And then on the tongue itself, you do have a Jumpman and then you ha do have that A mirroring what the what the sole shows. So this sole shows A and A, while this one shows Jumpman and Jumpman. It's a nice little detail. It's um, definitely some thought behind it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, throw these on feet because these are gonna be personal pairs. They are for the toe. Pros and cons, I do like the concept of Amal Manier tackling a pair of Air Jordan 5s. I do think Air Jordan 5s don't get enough collaborations out there and I'm glad they didn't just grab the model and just throw a color on it. They tried to make changes, 
Those are pros for me. I think they did a pretty good job. Cons for me was probably release windows on these. Why, why did these take so long to ship out? But these were almost instant. Um, I do feel like they could have done a little bit more creative things with the colors on these. This new book for some reason just is a little bit underwhelming while the new book on this one is is actually pretty nice. Like I, I really don't mind the one they had on this and that's kind of crazy to say because you, you'd assume they'd both be the same but they just don't feel the same in person. Last con, I would say I do wish they would have tackled toe box shape. I would have rather had more of a sleeker toe box. So if you were gonna take a lot of the padding out of here and you're gonna make it thinner, kind of like the off-white Air Jordan 5s, I really wish you would have addressed toe box just a little bit. Take some padding out of there, make it sleek, make it different. You know, keep keep that consistent energy throughout. All right, so let's just go straight to the on feet. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. And I gotta start considering what my sneaker of the year is gonna be, my top five pickups of the year, whatever it is. Cause you know, we're in December, we're end of the year. Let's go out with some new content. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Be easy. Let's see if Soulfly blesses me for our puzzle. Bye.